Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and welcome to Hearthstone, the Whispers of the Old Gods expansion has launched and is now available and after trying for about an hour or two now to be perfectly honest, I'm actually able to get into the game. Now what is this? What is this? What does this button do here? Things are going to be going very slow today. This is, of course, the day that the expansion has released. I have no idea what this is. And um, so everything is running very laggy. It's very difficult to even get on the game right now because so many people are trying to get there. New way to play. Standard. And standard, only the newest cards can be used. Okay, so this is going to be a standard versus wild. All right. This is year of the Kraken. The cards that you can use in standard change each year. Okay. Wild and wild is basically old school like anything goes with standard is basically everything from the past year Maybe two years. I could be wrong on that and uh, All right, so only basic classic and the last two years of cards can be used and wild is basically old-school Hearthstone where everything can be used all the time now That's gonna be pretty fun I think I'm gonna enjoy playing in standard to be perfectly honest because standard I just feel so it's gonna be more it's gonna be different It's gonna have lots of really interesting cards in that respect So five old gods packs now is a great time to start playing Hearthstone if you guys haven't started already because yeah, they actually missed. You can actually have more than just nine deck slots now. But it's a great time to start playing Hearthstone if you guys have never tried because it's a free play game at the end of the day, but they're also going to give you a lot of quests and give you a lot of free packs of this new expansion, which is pretty cool. So if you go like, to the quest log, uh, you have this uh, five old gods packs for just winning two games in standard. Then if you win, was like 10 games in standard, you gave them more packs, something along those lines. So you end up getting a lot of packs as a result, which is pretty nice. What we're going to be doing here in this video is opening up a bunch of packs. Which, of course, I did the pre-order where you get 50 of them. I just got uh, three free ones, and I have 750 gold here. Welcome uh, welcome from the old gods. Apparently, everybody just gets Cthulhu right away. Cthulhu would like to be the first to welcome you with a tentacly embrace. It's a new card. It's going to be a legendary for 10 mana, 6-6. Six, six. But his battle cry is deal damage equal with this mini's attack randomly split among all enemies. And there's a lot of cards in this expansion that are built around Cthulhu and trying to buff him and whatnot. So when you put him out there, he can unleash a lot of ridiculous damage. And Harbringers of Doom. All right, so we get Beckoners of Evil. Give your Cthulhu a plus two, plus two, whatever it is. See, that's one of those cards that just works with Cthulhu. Even if it's sitting in your deck and you haven't even drawn it yet, you can still buff it. So when it comes out, it's going to be ridiculously powerful. Now, I want to preface this with this caveat right away. I'm a very slow pack opener. I know there's some people that click right through packs as fast as humanly possible. I'm not one of those people, especially because I don't know anything about these cards. Like, I haven't, like, paid too much attention as to what the Whispers of the Old Gods cards are going to be. I know a few of them, but the vast majority of them I don't. So, I'm going to be taking it kind of slow, I suppose. I'm opening these up. So, if that's your thing, continue watching. If it's not, maybe click away or put the video in, like, times two speed. Something along those lines. And we have an Infested Torrent. Death Rattle uh, summon a 2-2 Slime. That doesn't seem to be an awful card, to be honest. A 2-3 with Taunt that drops a 2-2. It's like a mini Sludge Vulture, I suppose. I got Forbidden Healing. Spend all of your mana and restore twice that much health. I like that uh, card, actually. I think it's an interesting concept for a Paladin card. Fiery Bat. Deal one damage to a random enemy. That's okay. It kind of plays into the whole Face Hunter kind of a thing. It's like, um... I guess it's like a Leper Gnome, an old Leper Gnome, but you have to do it to an enemy. You get to choose where the damage goes instead of just... Uh, dealing damage as a death rattle, I guess. Shadow word horror. Destroy all minions with two or less attack. God, that's what priests need to be more annoying. <laughs> that two four taunt, uh, squirming tentacle. That's what priests need. More annoying removal. That's why I always, I always hate playing priests in this game because every time I do it, it's like they don't actually put out anything. They just destroy. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize I had a legendary right away. Uh, but Priest, back to my point. Priests, uh, they seem to just destroy everything and, and take all your cards. They're, they're just annoying in my experience. Well, we got a Hogger, the Doom of Elwyn. Uh, whenever this minion takes damage, summon a 2-2 Null with Taunt. So it's basically a stronger version of the other Hogger card. We have a Corrupted Hogger, essentially. Doom of Elwyn Forest. <laughs> Baseless Summoner, summon a random 3-cost minion. I like that card a lot. That seems really powerful. 5-5 five, five, or 6, kind of bad, but you also get a th random 3-cost minion in there. It seems like a good card. I don't know. I don't play Mage Law, but I like that card. Give death, give all death rattle minions in your hand, plus 1, plus 1. It's like they're trying to, uh, you know, have the desire idea of a death rattle hunter, maybe? I don't know. Do a lot of, I can't think. Do a lot of hunter cards even have death rattle? I don't think so. Alright, so we got, we got a common pack here. 
We got a Berserker, which is going to be a three. It's basically a buffed up Amani Berserker right there. Uh, evolved Cobalt. This is going to be the same as the, the original Cobalt, I suppose, but it's going to cost more and it gives more spell damage uh, buff. We have a 1 5 Rager. It's a Rager card, which is so odd. That might be good. You never know. One, that's a lot of health for three mana. I don't know. Another Infested Torrent and Eater of Secrets. Destroy all enemy secrets and gain plus one, plus one for each. That could be very good. That's right there's your counter to the secret paladin. And it's a it's a neutral card. You can use it in any deck. That's crazy. But then again, I wonder how well uh how well does secret paladin even work under the new rules, you know, between standard and wild. I don't know. Alright, so we get another rager. We got divine strength to give a minion plus one plus two for one mana? Might be okay, I don't know. Uh, Dark Arakoa. Is that the first Arakoa card, I think, in the game? It's a, it's for the Druid. Gibra Cthulhu plus three, plus three, and also has Taunt, and it's a 5-7 for six. So, that is, I think, a card you're going to see in a lot of... I think Druid Cthulhu is... Uh, Cthulhu Druid, I think, the other way around is how you say it, is uh, a very popular deck right now, because everyone gets Cthulhu right away, and just it works well with Druid. Uh, for being Ritual, spend all of your mana and uh, summon that many 1-1 one -one Tentacles. That's interesting, because if you have 10 mana and you play that card, you can only summon seven tentacles at most, so... Interesting, interesting. And destroy a frozen minion. Interesting. More freeze mage stuff, I suppose. Trying to evolve that deck a little bit. You know, the the one... I got a legendary in the one deck I just clicked through, and so maybe that'll be it. Shadow Strike. That's an old school rogue ability. Uh, well, actually, no, that's a new rogue ability, I suppose, in uh, the actual WoW game this is based after. Uh, deal five damage to an undamaged character. Okay, for three. Disciple of Cthulhu. Deal two damage and give your Cthulhu plus two plus two. That's actually a pretty good card. Um, I was watching Wildcat's stream and he saw this guy using this. And it's just, it, actually, no, he might have been using it himself. I don't know. Either way, it's a 2-1 for 3, which you wouldn't think would be good. But dealing 2 damage as soon as it comes out is pretty good. Plus it buffs up your Cthune, assuming you're running a Cthune deck. Mark of Yassar, Yash, uh, Yassarj? I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I know it's an old god, but uh, give a minion plus 2, plus 2. If it's a beast, draw a card. Okay, there's another Berserker. And then Darkshire Alchemist, uh, restore 5 health. 4-5 for five, 5, so it's kind of like a Yeti that costs one more, but also can heal anything for 5. Interesting. It seems like a good card. It really does. Now, I'm somebody who has, like, I'm not even sure if I have a ranked uh, Priest win. <laughs> Faceless Behemoth, 10-10 for 10. Just nothing nothing uncommon about that. Just 10-10 for 10. There you go. New Warrior card, which you guys know I'm a Warrior fan. All right, so if... Well, not not the Warriors in real life. I like Warriors in Hearthstone. How about that? Uh, if your Cthune has at least 10 attack, gain 10 armor. Oh! Ooh! That could be dirty. Cthune Warrior, huh? That could be dirty, man. That'd be, that'd be a 6-6 six, six for 7 that gives you 10 armor as a Valkyrie, assuming you have the prerequisite of your Cthulhu having 10 attack being buffed up. That's interesting. On the hunt, deal 1 damage. Uh, summon a 1-1 one, one Mastiff. Eh, so, so it's, summon a, it's like a mini Unleash the Hounds. It does 1 damage and summons 1 Hound. I wonder if that Hound does Taunt. Or, I'm sorry, Charge. Um, give your Cthulhu Taunt. Wow, give your Cthulhu Taunt with this one right here. And then uh, you have another Evolved Cobalt. And, ooh, we have an epic in this one. Epic and two rares. We got ourselves an infested torrent here. Blood of the Ancient One. This is a neutral epic. If you control two of these at the end of your turn, merge them into the Ancient One. Interesting. So you have to have two of them and have them both on the board at the same time. But it's at the end of your turn. Oh, but they both cost nine mana, so you won't be able to put them out at once. So you have to put one down and hope it lives and put down... Uh, another blood of the ancient one after that, and they'll turn into the ancient one, whatever that might be. That's pretty interesting. Uh, Disciple of Cthulhu, deal two damage. You got another one of those, another Infested Torn. A corrupted heal bot, 6-6 six, six for five. Restore eight health to the enemy hero. Huh, so it is a 6-6 six, six for five, which is good, but it does restore eight health. So if they haven't taken any damage, then yes, this could be good, or maybe they've taken only minimal damage. I've always been one of those people I was never a big fan of, like, um... What is the name of that horrible card? Zombie Chow. Like the one that I don't like giving health to my opponent. I'm just one of those people, I suppose. Even though I understand Zombie Chow is probably good in a lot of decks. Uh, give a random friendly minion plus one plus one as a death rouse. One, one, one. Eh, seems okay. It doesn't seem great. Uh, nope, nothing great in this one. At least, uh, I don't know. Rare, rare wise. You got another Dark Arakoa. Master of Evolution. Transform a friendly minion into a random one that costs one more. I like that card. That sounds like fun. It's the same thing as a Yeti, uh, health wise, but it could potentially be a lot of fun. Like if you have like a two drop on on the board and it's you know not doing much, you know you can. <laughs> 
transform into a three drop. That's cool. Uh, stand against darkness. Uh, summon five one one Silverhand recruits. Very nice. Possessed villager. Uh, summon a one one Shadow Beast. So for one mana, you get two two. For one mana, you get two one ones. It doesn't seem to be horrible, I guess. And then another Rager. Will I start playing more Hearthstone here on the channel after this? I imagine. Um, at least for a little bit, trying out the new format, trying out new decks and whatnot. I just, it's one of those things where I'm not that good at Hearthstone. Like, I would per I'd perfectly admit that. I'm not very good at the game. I, I haven't spent enough time, I suppose, to really be an amazing player. Highest rank I've ever gotten ranked was like 12. Um, and I always feel like this pressure when I'm playing that, like, oh, what if I suck? People are going to you know, hate the video and whatnot. But they don't really care, I suppose, as much. They just want to watch me play Hearthstone for whatever reason. And, you know, we'll probably do some stuff here with those Resident Evil Gods for a bit. Uh, rallying Blade. Give 1-1 one, one to your minions with Divine Shield. So that's for the Paladin. It's also a 3-2, 4-3. Well, it's like a buffed up, I don't know, I guess it's a bit of a buffed up, um, Fiery War Axe. Costs one more, um, but also gives plus one, plus one to minions with Divine Shield. So, depends if you want to work with it. Uh, whenever a friendly minion dies, give your Cthulhu plus one, plus one, wherever it is. Alright, so we got an Usher of Souls here. We have Stand Against Darkness, Summon 5, 1, 1, Silver Hand, Recruits again, Shadow Strike again, and then Nerubian Prophet, at the start of your turn, reduce this card's cost by one. So, if you have that in your hand, you could potentially make that good, but it has to sit in your hand for a couple of turns. It might be good. If it, sits, if, if it sits in your hand for three turns, then um, it, it's a 4-4 four, four for three, which... You know, could be great. I love how I got Hogger right on the second pack, and now we're probably not going to see another Legendary the rest of the time. Another Warrior card. There we go. Pirate card at that. Blood Sail Cultist. I love how it's so weird looking. It's a little gnome. Uh, if you control a pirate, give your weapon plus one, plus one. It's also a 3-4 three, for three, which is pretty good stat-wise, in my opinion, so that's pretty cool. On the hunt again, uh, we got Polluted Hoarders. This is like a new... This is a, it's a buffed-up loot hoarder, essentially. It's a 4-2 for four, four with allows you to draw a card upon its death. Not bad. You might actually see some use. Infested Torrent, uh, summon a 2-2 slime. I like this card. 2-3 that doesn't that has taunt. A 2-3 with taunt, which is kind of weak for 4, but it also summons a 2-2 slime. I wonder if that slime has taunt or not. It might just be like a, a weaker... Um, what is the name of that thing? I can't remember. Nerubian Prophet at the start of your turn reduces cards cost by 1. Might just be like a weaker sludge belcher, I suppose. I don't know. Ooh, another warrior card. Equip a 1-3 Rusty Hook. All right, so it's a 1-1 one, one that will give you a Rusty Hook weapon, I suppose. A South Sea Squid Face. I love its little Squid Face Pirate, man. Uh, give your weapon plus two attack. It's a 4-4 four, for four, four. I like that card. That's a neat card. Psychotron. This is the buffed up Anoyotron. It has Taunt, Divine Shield, and it's a 3-4 for four, five. So it could just be... Actually, in reality, isn't that just a weaker um, uh, Sunwalker? Right? Sunwalker costs six, doesn't it? Is this Sunwalker, Sunwalker a 4-6 for 5? And this is a 3-4 for 5 with the same thing? I could be wrong on that. Maybe maybe it's a 4-6 for 6. Either way, uh, I don't see Psychotron being that great. Sure, it would be annoying when it comes out, but it's just it's annoying on the same level as Sunwalker would be. Uh, Shifting Shade. Copy a card from your opponent's deck and add it to your hand as a death row. And then Squirming Tentacles. More annoying cards for the Priest. I should probably start playing Priest, just so I understand them a bit better. Legendary! A legendary Mukla! So we have the uh, Corrupted Mukla, essentially. Mukla, Tyrant of the Veil. And 5-5 uh, five, five for 6, who adds two bananas to your hand. Whereas King Mukla would initially give bananas to the opponent. Now it gives bananas to you. Uh, that's cool. I'm probably going to play with it just because they're new legendaries. That's pretty nice. Another Ancient Shield Bearer. So now I have two of them for the Warrior. You guys know Warrior is my favorite class in this game. So pretty awesome. Another Twilight Geomancer. Another Tentacle. So lots, lots of repeats here. But we did get Mukla, Tyrant of the Veil. I'll take that. So, so far, we're two legendaries in. Three if you count Cthune, although I don't really count Cthune, considering everyone has him. A Dusk Boar. All right, so <laughs> it's a 4-1 for two. This could be amazing, but the, uh, it's not going to be, and this is why. There's too many hero powers that can do one damage and kill it. Mage can kill it. Rogue can kill it. Um, well, are those the only ones? I think I feel like there's another one. Still. Uh, hunt, no, Hunter wouldn't be able to kill it, would they? I don't know. It could be good, but just one health is just, there's not, there's not going to be many situations where you're going to be able to put that out, and it's not going to kill something, or something, something's not going to kill it. Uh, Forlorn Stalker, uh, give one death, give all death robins, plus one, plus one, that's a repeat. We have Feral Rage here. Give your hero plus four, attack this turn, or gain eight armor. Huh. I like that card. It's a nice little combo there. Well, you have a choice, but it could work in a lot of things. Uh, another Darkshire Alchemist, another Geomancer. 
All right. Now, what do we have here? Come on, legendary. Ah. Uh, ooh, golden Darkshire Alchemist. Now I can get rid of all my other ones. I like golden cards. They're always fun, especially when they're cards no one's ever seen before, like this. Corrupt the Heal Bot. Uh, we got another first mate. So these are all repeats. All right. It's kind of nice when we get repeats because I can go through them quickly. As can. Oh, Golden Carrying Grub. Now, oh, that's so weird looking. It's a Hunter card. It's a 2-5 for 3. And it's a beast, so it does have beast synergy there. We got a Cabaltus Tomb. Add three random mage spells to your hand for 5 mana. That seems fun. Uh, a buffed up Berserker again. A Corrupted Seer. This is our first Murloc, I think. Deal 2 damage to all non-Murloc minions. I like that. Oh, it's got... It's, it's for 6? <laughs> it's always a 2-3, so I just assumed it costs relatively low. That is a 6 drop. All right, but then again, it's, it's a board clear slash, you know, Murloc. And doesn't hurt other Murlocs. If you're running a Murloc deck, it could be great. So then another South Sea Squid face there. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Now, what do we have here? More legendaries? Ooh, new Shaman cards. This is a 7 7 for 4 with no overload of 2. Which, uh, is if you play this on turn 4, it makes it so on turn 5, you only have 3 mana. But still, you have a 7 7 on the board. I like that. I like the, I like working around overload. It's fun. Uh, another Master of Evolutions. Now we have 2. A Twilight Elder at the end of your turn. Give your Cthulhu plus one, plus one. And it's got a pretty good stat line. Three, four, for three. Another Nervian Prophet and another Corrupted Heal Bot. Ooh, Bladed Cultist. All right, so this is a one, two for one. But if you use it in a combo, he can be a two, three. I like that. I like that a lot. New combo cards. Uh, Call of the Wild. This one's fun. So summon all three animal companions. That, of course, is Misha, Huffer, and Leok. And they go in, I believe, alphabetical order, don't they? I think they come in alphabetical order. That's how, like, that's how they position themselves on the board. Because that's how they actually, um, they announce that, like, via Twitter. Someone asked a question about that card. and said they come in alphabetically. Uh, so if you ever wonder about the positioning of that card, that's how it goes. Uh, Eater of Secrets. Uh, destroy another Eater of Secrets. We've, we've gotten that before. All right, so we've seen all those cards. I really think Eater of Secrets is a pretty cool card. I really do. I was hoping to get all the Warrior cards right away so I don't have to craft them. Because Warrior is the class I play with the most. Mark of Yash Yashar again. Um, Undercity Huckster. This is a new one for the Rogue. Add a random class card to your hand from your opponent's class. I like that. 2-2 two, two for 2. Um, I like cards like that. It's fun. I I'm definitely going to put that in a Rogue deck if I put one together. Another Shadow Strike. Another Infested Torrent. And a Polluted Hoarder. And, of course, the Golden Druid card. But I don't play Druid. Druid and Priest are the classes I really don't play much. Ooh, got ourselves an Epic in this one. It's going to be Forbidden Shaping for the Priest. Spend all of your mana and summon a random minion that costs that much. That could be fun. You spend 10 mana on that. You're going to drop it. That, that's cool. You're going to drop a 10 cost. That could be pretty fun. Uh, it could be horrible. could be fun. Depends on what you uh, what you can do that turn, I guess. That could be cool. Uh, fate, another Faceless Summoner. Which I think is a good card. I don't know. Um... Yes, these are all repeats. Okay. Ooh, Hammer of Twilight for the Shaman. Ooh, a 4-2. But it is, it's a 4-2 for 5. But someone's a 4-2 Elemental as a Death Rattle. How good is that? Immediately, that doesn't strike me as great. But I'm never one that's good at saying, Oh, that's a good card. Or, oh, that's a bad card. Because there's always some synergy or something that I don't realize. And um, so for me, I'm, I'm thinking it's not a good card. But it might be good. A 4-2 Elemental... This doesn't seem to be that great. It's only got two health. <clears throat> now, if this were a 4-4, four, four, the card would be, I think, borderline overpowered. I don't know. Um, spreading Madness. Destroy, or deal 9 damage randomly split among all characters. <laughs> but that's only for 3. So let's say your opponent's got a full board, right? And you, you put this out for 3. That's going to wipe out that board pretty much. Unless you get very unlucky and hit your face a bunch. But, um... That could be a good card. I can definitely see that being a pretty cool card. Evolved Cobalt. Again. Uh, oh, Grotesque Dragonhawks. This is like the Young Dragonhawk, but a little bit different. But buffed up. A lot of the stuff you're going to find, a lot of these cards in this expansion, are like basically revamps of old cards. So we have like the Cobalt Geomancer, which was a 2-2 two, two for 2 that gives you like spell damage plus 1 or whatever it was. Now it's a 2-2 two, two for 4 that gives you spell damage plus 2. It's just a little bit buffed up, I guess. Grotesque Dragonhawk. The original Dragonhawk was a 1-1 one, one for 1 with Wind Fury, I believe. This is now a 5-5. Five, five, for seven with Wind Fury. They're just buffing it up essentially. The power of the old gods is like buff them, I guess, is the uh, lore explanation. Although it's Hearthstone, so there's not so much lore going on here. A Bog Creeper is like a, it's like a Fen Creeper, but bigger. And there's a Huckster again. We have this just big scary 610 for eight. Just a, just a 
big guy, big bug man, big guy. Uh, Twilight Flame Caller, deal one damage to all enemy minions. Not too bad. A little bit, a little, little mini, mini flame strike, I suppose. Or I guess what would be a better equivalent? I guess that maybe mini blizzard. All the blizzard freezes. I don't know. Uh, on the hunt again. Oh, that's an evil card for the mage. I play mage on occasion. I dabble in it. Not much though. Not much. Uh, Twisted Worgen, so this is going to be like the Worgen Infiltrator, but uh, cost one more and be a 3 1 7 2 1. Okay. Oh, I didn't open up that card, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Journey Below, discover a Death Rattle card. Interesting. I like that. Zealous Initiate, uh, give a random friendly minion plus one plus one. Usher of Souls again, then another one of those big guys. We've got 30 packs after this, boys. I'm not counting Disenchanting plus. Uh, I have gold. Ooh, another another first mate. I've ha I've gotten a bunch of those. We have a blood to Iker here. It deal one damage to a minion if it survives. Summon a two two slime. I like that card. I like that a lot. Warriors don't have a lot of cards. I was watching Wildcat stream. He mentioned specifically that the warriors don't have a lot of ways to deal one damage for cheap, and this can also give you uh, some slimes. So that could be good. Hooded acolyte. Whenever a minion is healed, give Cthulhu plus one plus one. Cult Apothecary. Uh, for each enemy minion, restore two health to your hero. Okay. Okay, that could be a heal. That could be a pretty good heal, maybe. Two, I mean, that could do. That could be potentially 14 healing to you if they have a full board. I don't know. That could be a good card, I think. And there's another uh, Ruby and Prophet. We've seen those before. I'm hoping for the Warrior Legendary. Ooh, we got Golden Fest for the Hunter. And Showered Horror, uh, Possessed Villager. These are all repeats here, but this is in Fest. This is different. Uh, give your minions Death Rattle. Add a random beast to your hand. I like that. I like that a lot. That's pretty neat. I think it'd be interesting to see if Hunter becomes not just a face uh, deck, face class anymore. Ooh, a go there we go. Golden or Nazos first mate. That's like the fifth one we've gotten so far. Uh, another Twisted Morgan. Another Infest. Uh, it's two packs in a row. Now we have two of them. Now we have two of these. And now we have a Validated Doomsayer, which is going to be at the start of your turn. Set this minion's attack to seven. So it's kind of like the Doomsayer, right? Which was you put out there, and if you don't kill him, he's going to clear the board. Now with this one, you put him out there. If you don't kill him, next turn he's going to have seven attack. Uh, so it's, you kind of have to work around the Doomsayers, I suppose. I think that card's kind of neat. And I like how that... This card looks cool with, with the animation there. It's very sick. What do we have here? Alright, so we got this little tiny spawn of the Nazoth here. Give your other minions plus one, plus one's death rattle. Not bad. So we get both of them right there. A Ravaging Ghoul. Okay, so this is going to be, um... Like the Ghoul from the next Ramus expansion. The name of it's actually eluding me right now. But uh, deal one damage to all other minions as a battle cry, three, three, three for three, which of course is uh, gonna work with the synergy, I suppose. With a lot of warrior decks, and that you know they want your minions to take damage and whatnot, so that's kind of cool. It has the effect basically without it being a death rattle, and it is a three, three instead of a one, three. So that's pretty cool. Another face of summoner, another corrupted heal bot. I like that card. It's pretty neat. Wonder how I'm gonna be able to work that in there. Golden Grotesque Dragonhawk, uh, Forlorn Stalker again, uh, Shattered. These are all repeats, but we did get a uh, Golden Grotesque Dragonhawk. So that's pretty cool. Got ourselves an Epic Druid card, uh, Forbidden Ancient. Spend all of your mana and gain plus one plus one for each mana. Sp okay, well, you know this could be an eleven eleven for ten, or it could be let's say for example on turn four, this is a five five for four if you spend. Um, yeah, if you spend all four of your mana on turn four, yeah, it's, uh, that could be a good card. That could be a good one. I can see why it's epic rarity. Uh, Infested Wolf. This is different. Uh, Death Row. I'll summon two 1-1 one, one spiders. Three, three for four. Okay. Okay. And then we got a Tentacle here. When I first started playing this game, Hunter was my favorite class to play because I like animals. <laughs> and, uh, so that would definitely be a card I would use back in the day. I wonder if it's any good now. I have no idea. Another Corrupted Heal Bot. Um, Discover a Minion. Give it plus one, plus one. Okay, that could be good. Might not be, I don't know. Uh, Twilight Dark Mender. Uh, if your Cthulhu has at least 10 attack, restore 10 health to your hero. Another Infested Torrent. Corrupted Heal Bot again. Primal Fusion. Give a minion plus one, plus one for each of your totems. I like that. I like that a lot. Works well with the totem deck. Midnight Drake. Gain plus one attack for each other card in your hand. Okay, so... So it's like a Twilight Drake, except Twilight Drakes gain health. This one gains attack. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Mark of Yashar. 
again and another spawn is off. I was about to say it's been a while since we got legendary and we get a repeat. How many legendaries are there in this expansion? I get a repeat. We have a repeat Mukla, Tyrant of the Veil. <laughs> Forbidden Ritual, spend all your mana on some that many tentacles, zealous initiates. These are all repeats, literally all repeats, including the legendary. Uh, but of course, we can disenchant that in the 400 dust, but still, ugh. Oh, 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 we're experiencing some of that lag. It was bound to happen eventually. It was bound to happen eventually. We're experiencing some of that lag. A lot of people are trying to get on right now. Servers are a little bit in unstable. Uh, Divine Strength, give a minion plus one, plus two. Another carry and grubs. Now we have two. Uh, so those are all repeats. Actually, Tentacle of Nazoth, was that a repeat? I don't know. Uh, deal one damage to all minions as a death rattle. Oh, getting a little bit laggy again. Another Dark Arakoa. All right, so these are all repeats. And then they're all repeats. We got a Doom Caller here. So give your Cthulhu plus two plus two as a battle cry. And if it's dead, shuffle it into your deck. Ooh. So if Cthulhu's already dead, this will put it back in your deck. It's also a seven nine for eight. So ah, people might use that in a Cthulhu deck. I don't know. If you want to really devote yourself to you know a Cthulhu idea, you know making it so Cthulhu comes back after it eventually dies, if it dies. Then uh, that could be pretty good. Cult Apocathery. Uh, yeah, we're, so we've already seen that. Oh, we haven't seen this one before. Scarum Cultist. Give your Cthulhu plus two plus two, whatever it is, seven, six, or six. Okay. Ooh, Gold Infested Torrent. That's what I like to see. Another Forbidden Ancients. Now we have two of those. Uh, another Doom Callers. There's two of those. And the rest of these are repeats, but the Infested Torrent's gold now. So that's pretty sick. And power word tentacles, really, really, <laughs> power word tentacles. <laughs> Give me a million plus two plus six. Wow, for five man, that's insane, man. That could be pretty fun. Uh, Twilight Dark Mender again. All right, so we've seen all those other ones before. But uh, power word tentacles. Just the fact they call it that. You know, power word shield, power word death, power word um, pain, power word tentacles. Mm -mm -mm. Thing from below. Ew. Yeah, horrifying looking thing. Uh, cost one less for each totem you've summoned this game. All right, so that thing's going to be eventually free. That could be a very good card, a totem deck. <laughs> that could be very, very good. I wonder if it... Oops, I guess that card, that pack didn't go in. But I wonder if that counts the totems that you summon as a result of your hero power. I hope it does. Uh, Primal Fusion, another totem card. Thistle T for the rogue. This used to be a rogue ability back in the day. Uh, draw a card. Add two copies of it to your hand. So, you essentially draw a card, and get, you get three of that card that you draw. So that could be good, could be terrible. Just really depends. I don't think it's going to be that great, personally. Unless you draw something really, really good. I mean, for six mana, there's so much better things you could spend that on. Another Ravaging Goal, very nice. Twilight Elder, Twisted Worgen. So we've, oh, Servant of yogg Saron. Did we see this already? Uh, cast a random spell that costs five or less. Targets chosen randomly. Wait. Battlecry, cast a random spell that costs five or less. Okay, so the so the card that you're gonna cast is it's gonna be between one and five. You have no idea what it's gonna be. I guess it's that's worded very weird. Cast a random spell that costs five or less. Targets chosen randomly. So it's not, so you're gonna throw this out and it's gonna cast a spell. It's gonna either gonna, it's gonna cost between one and five or I guess zero and five, and it's gonna be cast on someone randomly. So couldn't that hit someone on your side too? That just that seems like a weird card. It's worded so oddly. I don't know. Usually they do a good job of explaining the cards. That one seemed a little bit confusing. These are all repeats here. Oop, oop, a little bit of lag. Can't click. Oh, there we go. All right, so we got Bladed Cultist, another Squid Face, another Arakoa. Wow, we're seeing a lot of these. Like, Usher, there's a lot of these uh, cards that are common. That we're, we're really seeing a bunch. I guess that's why they're common, huh? Got ourselves an Epic, which can be another Forbidden Ancient. I don't need any more, but thank you. Um, Cult Apocathery. Okay, so we've seen all of these already. A Polluted Hoarder. Okay, that's the same one. Big guy. This is a different one. Blackwater Pirate. New Pirate card. Your weapons cost two less. I like that. Um, two, five, or four, though. I'm not such a big fan of that. Another Blood to Iker. So now we have two of those. I think I only had one before. Could be wrong on that. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. No clicky. Oh, oh, there we go. 
and Cthulhu's Chosen. That's a new one. Divine. It's a 4-2 for 4 with Divine Shield. And Spout Cry is give Cthulhu plus 2, plus 2. So it's like a Argent something? Crusader? Champion? Something like that? But without the uh, without the charge effect. But it does have the effect that works with Cthulhu. Two Twilight Geomancers. Evolve. Uh, transform your minions into random minions that cost one more. That's cool. Fill up your board with stuff, put that out there, and just have a whole new board full of fun for only one mana. I like that. That card is pretty sick. Master of Evolution, Shadow Strike on the hunt. Okay, so these are all repeats again. We're getting low here. Getting low here. But then again, I've, I've, I'm still yet to disenchant. And uh, yet to spend any gold. So that's something. Uh, Journey Below. We've got that. We've got that. Got that. Okay, so we've gotten all these before. I'm hoping for another Legendary that isn't a repeat. Watch, watch, watch me get another Legendary but have it be Hogger again. <laughs> uh, Eater of Secrets again. Another Shatter. Cthulhu's Chosen. Oh, this is a different one. This is a new Murloc card. All right, so summon a 1-1 one, one Ooze with Taunt as its battle cry. That could be good and bad because the Ooze, I mean... You're getting a 2-1 and a 1-1 one, one for 2, which isn't horrible, but if you're running a Murloc, um, Murloc deck, you're going to have that ooze in there that's not going to probably benefit from the fact that this is a Murloc. So. I don't know. Then maybe you can sacrifice the ooze to something. I don't know. That's eh, probably a good card if you're running a Murloc deck. I mean, all Murlocs are good Murlocs, am I right? Get a little bit of lag here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, this is just a common one. Um, Strength Darkness again. So, no new ones there. Here's three. A golden evolve for the shaman. All right. There's that card I just talked about how it's kind of neat. And now we have a golden one as well. Darkshire Councilman. That's a new one. This is for the warlock. Uh, after you summon a minion, gain plus one attack. After you summon a minion. So you have to put this out there. And every time I summon a minion, this guy gets stronger. That could work out really well in the zoo deck, you would think. It's got five health there as well. That's going to make it kind of a good card. Another Ravaging Ghoul. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yep. Yep. We're starting to get real laggy here towards the end, boys. Got ourselves an epic. It's going to be a dark speaker. It's a it's a neutral epic. Uh, swap stats with a friendly minion. Hmm. So you can give... Huh. I guess there's going to be some combos for that. You can give whatever you want a 3-6. But you're, it's also going to get the stats of that thing as well. So if you have a card that's about to die, you put this in there, and suddenly it's a 3-6 now. I don't know. Another Thistle uh Squirming Tentacle 2-4 for 3 with Taunt. Cthulhu's Chosen. Ah, that's an interesting card. Last pack of my original packs here. Uh, nothing good. Now, oh, well, a new Paladin card. Uh, this is going to be a selfless hero. Give a random friendly minion uh, Divine Shield. Okay. That's a Death Rouse. So it's a 2-1 one for 1. Uh, you gotta make sure you don't put that on turn one. Make sure you got basically you can put it out there when uh, you have another minion that's actually gonna benefit from it. Seems to make the most sense. Um, so let's go to the shop here, if I can. The shop, the shop may just implode. All right. So whispers of the old gods, and we're just gonna purchase a bunch of these with gold. I have like 700 gold. I've been playing a lot of Hearthstone as of late. Just haven't been. I saved up what gold I did from when I was playing, but uh, you know, 700 obviously isn't a lot, but it's gonna be seven packs there, so I'll take that. And then we're going to uh, disenchant as well. Look at my gold like lagging. See, it, it, it wasn't even like subtracting the gold from before. Okay, now we go into the collection. Obviously, I got so many repeats there that there's gonna be uh, yeah, 1270 dust. Disenchant all that. Very nice. Getting close to being on a craft a legendary, I guess. Um, so we're all these seven packs, and that's going to be about the end of her, I suppose. Um, I'm not going to like show like uh, crafting or anything like that. I may, I may craft some stuff. May not. May just play a little bit uh, just for fun and try and get an idea of what the, the expansion's like. Then maybe uh, make some videos later on. Who knows? Giant Sandworm. This is going to be for the Hunter. Whenever this uh, attacks and kills a minion... It may attack again. So it has selective Wind Fury. If this thing attacks and kills something, it can then attack again. So, you know, attack many, attack face. That could be pretty cool. That's a cool idea for a card. I'm not going to lie. I like that. Um, the rest of these are repeats. Can't click on anything. There we go. Oh, Mage Legendary Anomalous. Death Rattle. Deal eight damage to all minions. 
<laughs> yeah, let's just really... If I die, I'm taking everyone with me. Alright, that's all minions, ladies and gentlemen. All of them. That's... A very weird card, but it's legendary nonetheless, so I'll take it. Whoops, that one ain't going. Another shifting shade, bog creeper, another firing bat. All right, these are all repeats here. I have a feeling I have I have about every common card that's like neutral. Uh, another ancient shield bearer. Uh, nothing new there. It might be my second midnight drake, so I guess that's two of those. Another dusk bore, storm crack. That's a new one. Uh, deal four damage to a minion. Overload one. Okay, not bad. Nice little nice little spell, I suppose. Ooh, another golden Nas first mate. Or Nazos first mate. All right, so now I have uh, two of the golden ones. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's pretty neat. And last pack of this video, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get the most anticlimactic way possible. We're just gonna have a common pack. <laughs> Meyer Keeper, though, that's a new card. I haven't seen this one before. So this is gonna be a three, three for four. Uh, summon a two, two slime or gain an empty mana crystal. All right, so it's a uh, gonna work a little bit with that ramp druid. Just a little bit. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be my time. I hope you guys all enjoyed my pack opening video. We opened, you know, roughly 60, give or take, uh, packs today. Got a couple of legendaries. Namely, we got three of them with one repeat, plus Gothoon, of course. And now, um, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I guess I'm just going to disenchant a couple of cards, go through and look. Like, for example, if I go over here to the Warrior class... Uh, there's no need for me to have these two since I have two golden ones. So, you know, go through, disenchant that for five, and, uh, you know, disenchant this for five, and go through two, do all that kind of boring stuff. I'm gonna end up doing that. Whoop! It <laughs> took a little bit, took a little bit there, lagged a bit. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna conclude the video, I suppose. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please drop me a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.